Guys, I'm just here to show you the basics of your Samsung S4. So this is the turning on and off button. Okay, so once you have it, just hold on to it. You're gonna um, feel a small vibration and then it's gonna start up. Uh, to turn it off, it's the same thing. You hold it down and then you power it off. You probably will never want to do that anyways. Um, and to lock your screen, you just tap on it. Okay, and then just click on it again. It starts up, swipe your finger, and there you go. Um, Something that you may notice is to turn it on, you can even press this and then you can tap on the camera there and it's gonna go straight to your camera and you can start taking pictures. Alright, so that's something good to know. I'm just gonna swipe my finger, hopefully let me do this. Okay, so I don't currently have my SIM card in it, however you can still test it out and do everything. Um, you can also put a SD card on the back of this, okay, and uh, just to have more memory on it. Or you guys can just start up and do stuff with it. So we're just gonna start up just showing you the basics. Now something that you guys may want to go into directly and right away is into your Play Store. So your Play Store is where you download everything. So let's just go into our Play Store. Now you do need a Gmail account for this, okay? So you guys can download everything. You guys don't need to put in your credit card if you don't want to. Um, and you can download anything that's free. You do, will need a credit card number if you guys want to download anything that's paid for. So Something you guys want to download for sure is, is Facebook, for example, maybe Instagram, um, as well as games and other things like that. Uh, so right now, I'm just going to go into Twitter and just download that app just to show you the process. It's really easy and basic with Android, so we're just going to tap on install, okay, and then just tap in accept. And it's gonna start doing that. So meanwhile, that's installing. You guys can install more and more apps. So we can just go back and keep installing more apps and looking for more apps like games. Um, you can download music right now. You can look for top paid or free. So we're gonna look up for top free, see what people are downloading and what's good out there. So we can just scroll down. I'm gonna download this one right now just to show you that you can download several apps at the same time. You may want to do that if your phone's brand new and you're getting to know it. Um, it's pretty easy as you can see so make sure to have a Wi-Fi connection to uh, connect your phone to any Wi-Fi just swipe your finger downwards okay on your screen that's the easiest way and turn on your Wi-Fi all right um, now if you guys want to get a little bit more technical we can go into settings that was right there and from there we can just uh, view more networks Okay, and from here we can just view mobile networks and other things like that. Now let's just go back on that. And I want to take you guys, now if you swipe your finger you're gonna see this, right? Now something that you may not know about your Samsung is that you can do this. And you can view all your screens. Okay, so you can add more screens or take out some uh, just by pressing the remove. Okay, so I can press on this. Okay, and just select remove if I wanted to. Uh, remember, just kind of pinch it, and then you can just move things around. So I'm just gonna go into here. I downloaded a few things, so you may want to download YouTube, for example, for sure. Um, to go back on any app, even to get out from it, you guys can just press, press on that. You guys can also press on this middle button to go to your home screen. And to make basic phone calls, obviously, go into your phone, messages right there, text messages, contacts, internet just to browse your internet um, now let's just go into more apps now some apps that you may want to look into are these ones these I would call the basic right now for free music Spotify or songs uh, um, for a free phone number free tone for Netflix well Netflix Netflix free phone number again fiber flashlight which is pretty good it's just a flashlight so it just uses your right here your flash and uh, we're gonna put uh, no thanks for now we're gonna turn it on so I'm gonna put my hand behind it so you guys can see there we go so it's just activating my flash here and using it as a flashlight okay so that's pretty good to have it's also free and uh, that's why I recommend getting those things as your basics now as you're getting to know your phone, you're gonna see that you can put a lot of things, you can customize a lot of things with it. You can do a lot of gestures on this phone. And um, for example, you can talk to it, kind of like Siri with iPhone on Google right here. So I can just say, call home. 
and then well it depends what you guys have the information already in it um, settings is where you guys want to do a lot of your things so we're just gonna go into our apps widgets okay and from here you guys can actually add alarms um, let me just show you a few of the options that you guys have here and let's just go back to apps and in Google Google settings is not your main settings so let's just go into those so you guys can take a quick peek um, from your Google settings it's mostly just about your account okay so that's something that you may want to look into if you wanted to track you or not your location for example and all that stuff now let's just go back on okay so there's two buttons down here so this is the back button and this there's button right here okay so if you tap on it slightly you guys should see this then you can go into settings now these are the main settings that you guys want okay um, just like when you do this all right so these ones are slightly different but it's almost the same okay from here you can put my devices uh, where you're gonna see a lot of things that you can see such as your battery accessories language you can change your language from there um, accounts okay so you can add a Google account you can take out the, the one that you have right now um, for sure you know get a Gmail account for sure and from here you want to turn on and off your Wi-Fi okay if you tap on your Wi-Fi then you guys can actually connect to others or just connect to your first Wi-Fi okay so that's really important and anyways those are your basics for your phone if you guys have any questions comments you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you